What's new from the Let Us Eat a BJ's grocery haul with some menu planning? Stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm Suzanne Bridgeway with Let Us Eat. I have a large BJ's haul for you. And if you don't know what a BJ's is, it's like a Costco and they sell bulk items. And we stocked up on a bunch of stuff for the month. The weather is getting nicer, but it does like to take a dip. We make it snow on Friday. It's almost 72 degrees today. It's gorgeous outside. And we went over to Albany to the BJ's and we picked up a bunch of stuff for dinners and for the grill. Because even in the 50s, we do like to grill. And I'm going to turn the camera around in a moment to show you everything that we picked up. But first, let's look for that red subscribe board and click on it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tap on that bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. Now I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to do a walkthrough of everything that I purchased at BJ's today. One of the first things I saw was these Hello Chocolate Pandas. And there are 32 pouches. It was $7.99. And my kids love chocolate. And this is going to be a great snack in their backpack. I found these pork chops over at BJ's, and it's 10.68 for a 4.47 pound package, and it's pork loin center cut pork chops. And I'm going to split them up into threes because one of my kids will not eat pork chops, and then I'll have three separate meals. These Lloyd's pork ribs are amazing in their original barbecue sauce, and you don't have to add any extras. And they're so good, and I highly recommend them. And we like to do these on a Saturday or like a Thursday night. For our steak night on Saturday nights, we picked up for $34.27, 3.43 pounds of these strip steaks. And there's one, two, three, four in the package. I'm going to put these in individual Ziploc bags so I can just take them out, thaw them, and grill them. And for one of our other pork nights, which is like usually Tuesdays and th Thursdays, as I said, is these Jack Daniels and Tennessee honey pulled pork. I'm just going to throw that in my crock pot and add a little bit of extras with onions and things. And we're going to have shredded pulled pork sandwiches one day. That could be a great Sunday meal. And then I was low on my cheese slices and I wanted the Munster this time. And it's really good quality cheese, the Wesley which is their BJ's brand, and that was $7.99. Really good price. And then I found these chicken breast skewers grilled by Express Co. They're a 10-pack, and I have skewers that we have, and you can just pop them on the grill with the steaks and have some great chicken on the stick. I love the chicken on the sticks at the Chinese restaurants, but I wanted to do the chicken breast skewer ones. And this was around, I think, $8.99. It was a really good buy. Then we love the 12-count meal-size breakfast sandwiches. So this is the sausage, egg, and cheese. Now, if you don't like egg and cheese, just remove the egg and cheese and put it in the freezer. And the person in your house that likes the egg and cheese, set it aside for them, and they can have a double egg and cheese sandwich. That's a nice hack, and I recommend that you do that because you're going to save a lot of money and not waste any food. We got the Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite another burger better than Bubba. And let's see what the weight is on here, if I can find it. It's four pounds, and we got to keep these frozen. I'm going to take them out of the box and put them in bags by fours because most everybody in my family likes burgers, even my picky eater. We'll eat a hamburger with ketchup on occasion. And then we picked up the three pound pack of naturally hardwood smoke Oscar Mayer bacon. And we like to have bacon on Saturdays. And it's a, just a nice thing to do on the weekends when everybody's home from school and after school activities. It just gets really hectic. Now my pizza night is almost every Friday. Sometimes we do takeout on Fridays. And I picked up this four-pack of Jack's Pizza's Original Thin with pepperoni. And this is a really good deal. It's very good pizza. A lot of pizza today. It's spicy. 
from the frozen food section. Or too much paprika. I don't even know what's going on. It's not pizza. Pizza has garlic on it. Pizza is Italian, not spicy. I've never been a fan of a lot of spices. And this Jack Pizza is excellent. Then we picked up a 36 count of the juice boxes and assorted flavors. And let's see here. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. We have a 36 pack. And you get 12 fruit punch, 12 apple juice, and 12 berry berry. And then we got eight of the frosts. One is Glacier Freeze. I think they're both Glacier Freeze, but one's white and one is blue for the Gator Aids. And they're eight each flavor. And that's a great deal for the Gator Aid. My teen doesn't like soda, but they love their Gatorade as well as my husband. I only like the orange one and occasionally the fruit punch. Here's my receipt. We spent about $186.92 at BJ's today. And some of the items were cash only. We got a 36 roll of toilet paper that had a coupon. And also not on the table, two big bags of the shelled no salt peanuts for my Blue Jay. And... We got two of those bags. Now the panda things were $8.99. The panda with the chocolate centers. And I wanted to see what the... It was $10.99 for the chicken. For the grilled chicken for the, the skewers. So the really great deal is at my BJ's today. And then you can see here my menu board. And we're going to be putting down a new week soon. And we're going to start off with the pork chops on Tuesday. And Wednesday is our Italian night. And then we do a grill night on Thursday and during the nice weather. Friday is our pizza night. And then steak on Saturday. And we have a whole chicken already in our freezer for Sunday. And then I either do a casserole or a soup next day to utilize the leftovers from the whole chicken. So we did very well. For our bulk for this month and I have all the meats and the only thing I need to do is an Aldi's run for my produce and some odds and ends and I'll be doing a separate grocery haul for that. I hope you all liked my BJ's bulk haul today. It is similar to Hot Costco's. We have a BJ's. I've been going to BJ's for over 20 years. It's a great store. It saves my family money and gives us more bang for our buck. Buying bulk no matter your family size is a great way to reduce costs especially with the gas prices creeping up. You reduce your traveling. You think big, buy bulk. You can break food down into individual baggies and make easy dump and go meals with what you purchase for your crock pot. And I can do a whole video of what we buy from BJ's and make for our dinners and a separate thing with our menu planning. And I'll do a new menu planning video coming up later this month. Before you leave, let's click on that red subscribe word. Give this video a big thumbs up, tap on that bell, and YouTube will notify you when I upload more video. And thank you for stopping by.